Ski. With a smoke and a CZ75 and a smoke and a kit for Esatag. And as we leave spawn, it's looking very heavy towards T stairs. Banana flash held on out. Information spotted towards Boiler. And yeah, Hunter doesn't want to take that fight too wide. But this is quite nice for Fozy here. He's just been told, all right, play for info, right? Be a jarring presence, make sure they don't get too much space. So a jiggle, a wiggle, and a fight. And now he'll tuck on back in towards A. But this is a bit of a problem for NIP. They have no information whatsoever right here, right now. If you take a look at Plopsky, he's just holding a sliver gap from that position. I mean, this is dreamy, right? I mean, his, his smoke won't be respected. They're about to 5v2 scrim into the B site. I might have to fight in front of this with the CZ. There's the util. Yeah, he's going to play in front of this. Now, what do you want to do with that, G2? Is one smoke enough to stop the whole squad? No, it's surely not. Plopsky has been found. Jax rumbles his plans. Esetag, quick counter, though, and the bomb now loose on the floor. This is about to get chaotic. He wasn't ready for Banana. He still managed to stabilize onto one. It's all on Jax, really. He's the only one that's been fragging, and he'll have to be the one to finish it. Underperforming at the moment. A large gap, a cavern in the frag totals for him and Nico on either ends of the spectrum. He's worried about everything right now. Literally, you know, they're all there. Rez and Fozzy set up towards spawn. Hampus over towards Coffin. So with 20 seconds left, Jax would have to hit some absolute unbelievable Glock shots right now. Yeah, I don't fancy getting across here safely. Oh, somehow he does. And Hampus is there for his third. Well, NIP get exactly what they wanted. Yeah, I thought it was going to go all wrong there after uh, Popsky went down in the smoke. You can see what he was opting for. He's put a very shallow smoke there to tempt them on through, but Jax able to find him. Esatag getting spicy with it. And Hampus here, as the smoke fades, right, Nico's over there towards Tree, and I think he gets a little bit of a freebie. So all in all, not the best of starts here for G2. NIP, they buy back in, and it looks like two M4s and a Famous will meet the MP9s. And on the other side, Kenny with the Galil. And the rest with some pistol upgrades. Love this high mid flash. I think Mouse was one of the first teams I saw throwing this flash. Pop, peak. Oh, and frag. If you're lucky, Hampus has let that slip. G2, no stranger to second round conversions. Amanek, a god on the Tech 9. Nico, a Deagle Master. And information, too long side, he screams as he actually wants to confirm that they've retreated. He's up short. He's taking space. A Master at this particular facet of the game. He's pulled the whole squad here, including his team. It's a race now to get into the site. Amanek has given him so much room. And Kenny, don't forget, has a rifle to keep him respectful. They don't have a kit here. Really could go wrong. They've prioritized rifles. Famas, M4, bomb down default. You can see a kit. I don't want to say it, but I feel like they should save. I think they might be feeling the same vibe as well. You can see he's... Uh, yeah, a reluctant walk. It's not That's... the call you wanted to make, but once Hampus tried to fight mid for way too long, he goes on down, and Amanek, because he saw both of them long side, he immediately took space. His decision-making was the key to that round. Because he took so much space, they were scared to get back in sight through Moto. And one kill, and you, you win the force by. That's not the way this one should be going down, and that was virtue of uh, Nico's Deagle, I believe. The hand cannon from range. Yes, it takes it a lot here, and oh, they're actually behind him. One, maybe done. Left and right, Amanek will get the kill, and there you have it. They pick up the Famous and carry that one through. Who needs pistols when you can win the second? G and it's, these, it's just the simplest of conversions. Nico, Deagle's up a greedy Hampus, and we immediately see the roles reversed. Yeah, I think the fact that they let that one go, right, at least they keep these two M4s. So if we're looking for positives, there's one. Essa tag into a 5-7 Hampus with a Deagle. So it's not the worst of buys. Uh, both teams are still in this position of teetering right now. So if your NIP winning one back would be fantastic here. Gittles an aid on down. That one lands on the toes of Kenny. But this is fast out of Amanek. He just wants to take the fight here against Rez, who doesn't hit the shot. Oh, and yeah, they are showing some serious, serious pace. Rez catching a timing. He heard the pin pull and just stands his ground for one and a half. Hunter in, pit a threat. No util for him, so Hampus can click heads and has. Kenny down and out. Smoke to uh, aid his sweep. He's been heard here, though. Hunter yeah. knows. It should be SMG versus Deagle. Hunter shut down Hampus double. And NIP have fought straight back. This save now justified.
And there's weapons to be picked up. That's if they can get through Nico. Oh, oh a nade they will. Hoovering up what little they can. This bodes very well for an NIP strong start. Yeah, I love those AKs in the hands now and an MP9 with that uh, M4 saved across here. But thank you very much, Mr. Hampus. I think the doctor you're dubbing him here, well, he's got the lab code on for this one. A couple of clinical shots with the Deagle there. And back and forth we go once more. So this time around, G2, forced by him back in. And if this is the type of game we're going to get, sure, sign me up. I'll love a back and forth affair like this. Yeah, well, Nico's got his main weapon, so it's a full buy for him. Yeah, it's very cheap for him. It's, what, 1,700. This time, the mid-fight works. Nico hits the deck. Banana control also taken. Plopski, very fast to take space with Esetag that far behind. Rare to see CTs, like, grouping up for those kind of engagements down mid-early. Posey spotted out. Kenny, one of the two AKs in play, and he's just coming in now for the fight. They might flash him off. He is really all alone on this one. Esser in a nice little blind spot. He's made a step. Kenny really is hanging on just a little ahead. Tries to catch a timing. Not ready for the SMG of Esser tag. And already now G2 with this force by looking very meek. I don't know what to tell you. That type of maneuver was strange. Very, very strange. And... Well, as they recoil, it is back towards the B bomb site. Plopski and Esetag battening down the hatches. Hampus playing for info, and more than info, Hunter falls to remain. And your friend Peter, well, he's out of this one. What are you supposed to do with this? Die? Yeah, you, you'd love to make sure you... Actually, I don't know. Yeah, exactly. There's no good choice here. You stay alive or you don't get lost bonus. At least you have rifles. You die, well, you're dead. You lost everything. Hampus executes two. <laughs> They're starting to enjoy it over there. Has to be a good feeling in the camp. And I'm pretty sure Threat was saying that they really like their CT side, Inferno, right? And that the Major was a map that they uh, picked into when I think, you know, we were like, oh, why aren't they going to Ancient? Ancient was one of the maps that they were really comfortable on. So... Uh, it's not going to be as easy for them to plug and play, but uh, we do have a bit of a technical issue. Just the FPS bug, log address underscore add one, I believe. Let me double check. Log address, yep, underscore add one. Do that one at home, guys, if you ever have that happen. It's really quite frustrating, but we'll work it out eventually. These things do get fixed. In 1.6, we had a box at ramp that you could accidentally flash under and would flash literally all of the ramp room. Reasonable. You did get deducted quite a few rounds, though, if you did that. Oh, that's what the uh, the flash someone was alluding to on Twitter, where you could yeah. get a whole game DQ'd if you yeah. accidentally flashed a box. Yeah, it was problematic. There was a couple of it, a couple of players that you could do like that in 1.6. Oh, and he's done it again. That's two for two now in the head-to-head -head up against Nico. Admittedly, one with with a Deagle, this one's with a Glock. But Are you ready for this one, Alex? One. Ozzy, he's loving this. Ozzy's loving this. His name's Love. Oh, his name is Love. His name's Love. Yeah, that's not bad. Thanks. Been working on that one all series. Mm. Took two and a bit maps. <laughs> and Hampus is too. There's a Deagle from Kenny S. Quite the statement out of his Desert Eagle. I I'm not sure what these mid walks are all about, but I'm all for it. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this. this I mean, like, this is playing some of my pug lobbies. I'm not even kidding. Yeah. But I, th I do think that this Damn is map. this is what NIP have been that worked for them, right? Even on Dust 2, when Hampus was doing them, that's when the rounds were coming through on T-Side. Yeah, backing themselves. Well, Rez, this is all on you, and that timing is not looking good. No, but that is... Rezzy continues to farm. Rez has lost a jewel he really shouldn't, and... The bomb's in. I didn't think he could. Now, with a bomb down... I mean, G2 have got way more out of this than they were supposed to. Way more. And it could be worse. Rezzy, can you save him? Bail your boys out of trouble. I don't know if he gets an ace. An yeah. important ace, indeed. Not an eco bash, but... Give it to him. Hunter denies. It's getting very interesting. Esa tag low. Boy, Jack's yeah. even lower. But if they overcomplicate things, if he was to get one and not go down, Plopski, an important trade. And nearly nothing invested for a one-on-one -on -one defuse. Okay, well, they will take the fourth, and they have enough cash to splash in the bank balance. Look at how much foes he has. And we're only five rounds into play. He had 11k. He just bought the AWP, Kevlar, and a full belt of utility. So things are going fantastically well for NIP. I got a question for Fozy now. You've been peaking mid every time with your M4. Do it. You do it again, don't do you? It. Just do it. Get, get, maybe even run boost him. Boiler. Push holes. 
do something fruity. I think it's almost a guarantee at this point. Oh, he is holding A with Rez alone. It's a three-man B lean here. They might do an app. banana. Maggie Orp is also up for the... Picking from short side. He wants it. What do you mean? Oh, he oh, would. Oh, he's oh, he done would. him. He's done him oh, real would. good and proper. This is actually going to start to rumble G2, operating at a man disadvantage in a lot of these scenarios. And this is the first real rifle round. Yeah, the gap on that smoke is perfectly exploited by Nico. Confirms there's another Plopski punished for his negligence. Big frags out of Nico as he gives G2 an advantage they had no right to. Well, that's the tag is actually forced forward by all of this. Has a smoke and a molly still, so could block them here with a bit of utility. Rez is pushing through apartments during all of this, so if he continues to farm forward and Essa tag delays them, that is the recipe for success. It's the recipe for a flank and a half. And they feel very committed right now. They would have to start... Well, they're blocking top mid, and they, they block top in. banana. It might be you're not expecting Rez here. Oh, and he wasn't ready for that either. One undone. Still the man advantage for the G2 squad as they look to gamble the wrong way. Yeah, they fully rotated here. Essa tag's bitten very hard. He's actually waiting at well. So back and forth he goes. The molly's going to be good to delay, but Amanet can extinguish this and they can take the site if they'd like. There's a gap around it, so don't even need that extinguish. Flashes are good. Nico's in. Bomb there as well. Do they really want to retake this? Yeah, this gets awkward because the smoke will fade before the bomb goes down. Took too long about this. He should have him. Does. The sound cue confirms it. And if he gets away, tail between his legs. But now we're ready to play. Two on two. High flash, not bad. He's going oh, to die again. again. That's it. Just live. Round one. Just live. Fozzy doesn't get hunted. He's safe and sound in banana. And another one goes the way of the ninjas. That's a tag. That is impact and a half right there. Massive work. And that's after Nico got two massive kills in banana. Yeah, but not only that, he was alone on that bomb site. He halfway made it to CT spawn. And still the impact is found. He knocks two bomb plants oh, out of their hands. Lord. And Nico here, I don't know if he's searching for the kill, hoping to find him on the other side of the smoke, but Fozzy was in banana, and this is getting desperate now. Nico with that AK, the rest are upgraded in some pistols here, so they're working with something G2, but this is the first time they've been starting the game down in the dumps in both of the first halves that we've had so far in this series. G2 have just had a massive lead. Flubbed Molly, they're fast up mid. Yeah, and here comes Jax running down Hampus. It's always Amanek in the feed. On that Tech 9, and now he slipped the net again, only into Rez. Close line now, aggressive from Fozzy. Knows what he's got to do to back him up, and he's got the Julies for good measure. Hunter's better, two on two. And now the bomb going down again. G2, they've got this far before. It's the Cousins this time. Language swaps. Klopski and S attack. Exposed, and he might just do it on his own. Hunter, four in the round. Demands a second for G2. Well, there you go. That's one way to make a bit of a statement into this. On what was essentially a half by, they're able to get things done. And two close rounds in a row for NIP. I mean, oof, starting to work on that economy too. So great little trade there from Amanek Hampus in No Man's Land. You think Rez has done a lot here, but it is Hunter, the hero of this. And that is, uh, well, four of his wow. five kills all in one round. Oh, well, you can see the buy here coming out from NIP as well. It's not fantastic. Fozzy into the AWP, Deagles and Rifles. And they've actually gone for a massive gamble here. It's quite literally just Hampus on the A side. The only man to defend this bomb site, hoping that they head over towards B for a finish. Yeah, you can see his intention. He's going to try and act as more than one. Um, nade into the apartments, he incendiary top mid. But they are coming knocking you all the same. You can see they've got all their backup utility, so they can rotate off and keep them locked, but they're still gambling here. Where is he in the off angle? Bang. Not so much off, but yeah, takes a chunk out of Nico. Safe assumption is go A. The orbs B. They scream. And long. Very clear. Hampus is going to try and delay. That's a nice time smoke. I don't think it's going to dissuade them, though, and the rotation isn't changing from the B-bomb side. They're flashing through. Hampus would have to hit so many shots right now to make this one even around. It's a 1v5, Chad. <laughs> one versus five, and Hampus still manages to pull out a first. A is clear. Save. Intent is clear from NIP. Yeah, that was uh, a bit of a, a gamble out the gate, right? They rolled the dice, not landing where they wanted it to. Unfortunately, couldn't lure them into that B-bomb site. 
Is it counterintuitive when gamble stacking a site with the uh, hero, quote unquote, hero orb, for lack of a better term, when they're on some shaky buys? Him taking first contact and firing off that shot, did that kind of almost propel your opponent away from you? I, I think there's like obviously multiple. Yeah. So, like ways of thinking about this here, but in the sense of if it was a team and they knew the tendencies, then you know you could get okay. The orb doesn't normally play mm -hmm. here, right? So oh, this is a bit scary. Uh, but they also can think about it. Oh, if there's only an orb on the site, we can execute on him easy, right? Like it's easier to smoke a molly and AWP off. But the thing is, by only having Hampus there with a deagle, he couldn't like jiggle and seem threatening. Like if there was someone with an M4 jiggling, shooting a couple of bullets, smoking, mollying, like mm. they dropped him smokes towards the arch side, he could have kept mid smoke. Like I don't think it was completely flushed out of an idea. And that's one of the things as well, right? If you do stack a site, one of the worst things you can do is block them, right? If you just could keep top banana smoke, it's like, okay, they've used four smokes. Let's just go A, right? So uh, there's there's a lot of trains of thought on it, but the double dip is nice, right? We get to see them go again at least. And actually literally go again. Yeah, it's the, the same buy, so... He is truly trying to be so spicy with his calls right now. Yeah, the, Rez is actually going to help him out this time. So there's a famous to assist and it, it might pay off. Oh, there, there you go, they're giving him more util. It makes more sense now, right? He can he can seem bigger than he is. Is that a peacock? That... Oh, 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 Fozzy, I love away. it. He's managed to get his AWP and juggle away. Plopski as well, fighting for the, some degree of banana control. And this time the bodies drop. Still G2, fighting. what? The last few bullets, straight to the dome. Nico sent home. Hunter's in A. Ah. But Kenny has to get up mid. Hampus unawares of this and Oh, Hunter's going to find him here. This is the site open. There you go. Now a two versus four starts to take shape. Popsky and Fozzy are so low here. So low. It, uh, you don't want to save again, but... It feels that way, doesn't it? Maybe you have to. You don't have a kit. How are you meant to retake this? Two smokes. That's all right. Fozzy's still over towards T-Stairs. They have cleared out long at least, but... Hunter's in pit, Kenny's at short. Good luck. Yeah, if Fozzy finds Kenny's in that duel, maybe Hunter gets overrun, but... Already Hunter deals with the first threat. This is all onto Fozzy and he's got it. Okay, Hunter pit, they scream. Halfway gone. Yeah, no kit. On the site though, smoke's deployed. If they could just bodyguard Rez, Fozzy, you could be the hero. Fozzy, have you got anything to say? No time, Hunter's done it. Having some fun with it, baits the shot, takes the round, and even perhaps the frag with this explosion. Oh, is he going to get away? That really hurts right there. You can see going for those retakes into that ace site, no kid, not enough utility, not knowing where either of the opponents are, just how difficult it can be. Trying to find a needle in a haystack and that money situation now for NIP. Sure, the loss bonus is starting to build, but not enough to resemble a buy here. And this was the kill because Hampus was the only defender on that A bomb site. He had no space, had no idea where Hunter was. And great stuff from Hunter again. That's two massive rounds for him with impact that's been felt. Yeah, he's got nine a good kills. Read of the game. He seems to have caught some really nice timings on these lurks. Well, Teagles again. Hampus, three rounds in a row with a deagle in his hands. Kenny giving us some of that flair with an aggressive T-Orp on Inferno. Few can make it work. It's been good to bring this back. It should be 5-5 five, five as long... Oh, they're straight in. Yeah, straight in. Just, just charging straight in. Look at Jax. He's already at the back of the site. I'm an egg. His fate's to black. Boosting. Yeah, and another one. Surely not another Deagle loss for the G2 squad. Sweat on the brow now. Flash from Hampus Flash. could be perfect. It depends what they're looking at. Nico currently preoccupied. Well, he's going to clear and then they're going to go. Yeah, no one's looking. Nico might. Completely blind. Need to hit these. Good damage, but not enough. Nico takes the pair, takes the AWP, and takes the round G2 to tie things up. I think Hampus is seeing what he can find on the way out the door here. Damage, a gun. Either of the two would be nice, but as he creeps through the smoke, he will be found. Nico to finish that one off and four for him. So uh, they're taking turns between Hunter and Nico right now in terms of finding this impact. But that was another light pistol round dealt with. It did get a little bit sketchy for a moment. But uh, this was at one point five to one and now the scoreline reading five to five. So G2 are back in this. And I think, what, one or two more rounds here on this T-half. They're going to be quite happy with that. Yeah, don't forget the Nico that's... Uh showed up on Nuke. We got a very stern reminder of his form uh, as it currently stands here at IEM Winter. And yeah, warming into things nicely to take the grand final tour. A couple of uh, Chrissy hats there in that one right there.
It's allowed now, right? The Christmas trees are... I think, isn't it? Like 1st of December? Yeah, exactly. I don't think we've had a Christmas tree in about six years. And my per perception of time is warped. It's 11th of December. I thought we were... <laughs> Today, 1st of December. It's great yeah, to it's be starting months, December. You're allowed now. to each other. Yeah. Yep. So Make Christmas, Alex. Only a couple days away. It is. I can't wait to meet Santa. Uh, Amalek has a Mac 10. This one could be a little bit quick up banana from him. He's being flashed forward. It, he, wow. He's actually gone um, through. Oh, uh, yeah. What a flash. What he a play. Is dead. But a great team play, and Amanek finding a great opener. They can just turn their attention towards this A bomb site right now. Hampus is the lone defender on the balcony. Rez is tucked in over towards Moto. So isolating these jewels shouldn't be too difficult, especially if they go in the next five seconds. Esatag's rotation is coming, but won't be able to help Hampus just yet. It's perfectly anti flash for this. And they're not going to clear him. Both connect. The frags, the bodies, they drop. But they're in time. And only G2. Flooding through the apartments with so much time to spare, they thought they had an element of surprise there. And well, Kenny, it certainly surprised me if he could do some damage here. He's had a quiet start. That T Orp is an expensive investment. Yeah, this is very difficult for Kenny now. He's been out of the game for a long time. It was nine months. Yeah, he said to me, he looked me in the eyes and said, You know, nine months is a long time, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> you can have a baby in that time, Kenny. Just be the save call here. Interesting, right? If they wanted to get the timing, they should have been set for like an apartments pop with Amanek going banana out the gate. But after Amanek died, there was just a lull in gameplay. So well handled from Hampus there. Read that situation well. And Rez was actually able to rotate in in time. I didn't think they would be able to assist, but they do. I think the way I want to frame it for that nine months conversation as well is that it's not like your game was progressing for nine months, but it's also that everyone else that has been actively playing has been refining the nuance of the game again to the level that you just weren't keeping up with for nine months. Exactly. Well, yeah, not only that, before he went out, it's not like Kenny was a star player by any means, yeah. right? So he was already up Struggle Street without a paddle. So uh, for him to, you know, get get the bug back after the major, I think when he saw everybody in the arenas and, and mm -hmm. exactly why he loves playing Counter-Strike, he's been able to get back on that horse, but it's going to take some time. And I think uh, this is a conversation definitely for uh, a bit of a longer form, but with some of these French individuals going to be loose pieces soon, Mm. A couple of names you could be grabbing to make a team with. So we'll see what 2022 has in store for French Counter-Strike. Yeah, you're right, actually. There's some lots of interesting conversations to be had. But right now, the conversation is about round oh. 12. A lot of damage. Right up mid. It worked well before, and it works well again. Jax, sidelines, Fozy quick. He's surely shot, yeah, in the side of the head. Hampus tucked into sight, swallowing the G2 flashes, but there is no commitment. They have got Hunter up there. They've got the main body of the defense here as they actually re-smoke long, eyes on short. Happy with that? Yeah, he's trying to uh, deny everything right here as Ampus. Wants to play with two guns, two smokes, all the goodies he may have. Lost it. Yeah, well. Excuse me. Mr. Neighbor, if you let me know, you've seen my ball. Looks like we're heading back towards B. Nico is the point man in Banana right now, joined by Amanek, Kenny, and Hunter. You can see the boost being mantled up by Plopsky, so he will be playing off of Esatag, who does have that molly. Now, I'm going to be curious to where Esatag drops this molly. Just be very, very cautious of this because if he drops it into pool, it is going to leave them in the line of sight of Plopsky's boost. Here comes the smokes. Oh, he's just going to try and bottleneck them here. Yeah. Try some, shave some time off. Rotation coming. Seconds. Ampus is coming. They'll have three there. here. Front sight smoked. Plopsky bides time and on the boost, they strike. Amanek, however, has provided enough. Oh my god, they're both so low. Takes another. Esotag gone. Bomb ticking, but a very intense 2v2 about to take shape. Charging towards Banano, the only healthy member of this four. Oh, and a couple of misses. That was an opportunity. Hampus has let slip. Huge push from Hunter here. May have done him in with this alone. Dead. Rez, what have you got? 180 right now. Yeah, the hardest of clears and deleted. Well played by the two of them. Amanek cracking into that site makes it six. And NIP, I mean, they did get fruity with it. And that's how this defense looks as promising as it did. But it, it, reality has caught up with them.
Yeah, and they're able to get the buyback out again, right? They're able to keep up a competitive nature in this one, but it's quite a simple approach there just with that B execute. You can see Plopsky fell off the boost. I'm not sure if he was flashed off or if he, if he got mollied out of position. I'm not sure exactly what went down there, but didn't want to stay posted on up to do what damage he could. I think maybe the virtue of the clock, there was a reason he tried to tuck in, but his Fozy posted up, flashed off. Looking for a... Oh. What? Hmm? What? 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 Um, Why did they just molly Nika? I'm not sure. He's still going to get a frag. Why did they just molly he's, Nika? He's playing against his team as well. <laughs> Why did one, they just molly him? 1v9. What was the plan there? I'm sure. Guys. He just looked at it like in disbelief. <laughs> like, is this... Okay, I guess I'm pushing the smoke then. Lads. <laughs> okay. Maybe it was meant to be a jump throw and they didn't... I can't think of it like a, a 4D chess reason. I can't. <laughs> so they wanted him to make the sound cue, right? So they spray to give Tracer fire, right? <sighs> yeah, I, I get That was it. That's that was it, it, Alex. Genius. Yep. Fozy, he's bought time with the smoke. <laughs> I'm oh. still trying to recover. This is crazy. Hunter's actually just caught Hampus perfectly in timed, and now... Oh, careful, Rez. You heard one apps. You know Hunter's coming. And deletes him. Well read. Kenny, what have you got for us? A 1v3. Looking to remind us what he's capable of, but looking the wrong way. And it's as easy as that for the seventh. NIP, bring one back. And G2, I mean, they have definitely had some an air of dominance about them. Five of the last seven rounds of play going their way. I, I'm going to... Hmm. I'm not sure what's going on. It's very, it's very mid-roundy, right? Out of G2, they're trying to be very reactionary. It's not slow, methodical. It's not like they have a game plan out of spawn. Mm. I think that's probably one of the differences right now with the type of CS we're seeing out of G2 compared to when Nexus here to when we've got Nico, right? Yeah. In that driver's seat, is they look a bit more default spread or reactionary early. Whereas I think it, it, Nexus would would have a bit more of an overarching plan. Whereas right now G2 seems scrambled and. Can we get another Amanek Tech 9 tutorial? Just because he always seems to find some way into A. It's called all the Dug Dug for short. Yeah, he's got some Dug Dug prowess and he's doing it again. Amanek, you beast, I swear. Tech 9 main. Hampus, not next, but at least defends the honor of the site. Hunter found one elsewhere, and if you're not careful, Hampus has debailed himself out of trouble, maintains control of A, but Hunter's being a worm about this. If he scopes, he's going to get heard from library very shortly. Plops, he's just about to walk through the door. Hello and goodbye. Hunter just averts his gaze at the wrong moment. <laughs> Jack's trying. Next to NIP's name. You see what I mean, though? There's no way the strat can be, hey, Ammonite, do you want to go see if you can get Boiler Room, then walk out short and take a dry fight and we'll all not be behind you? Yeah. You see how that like, can't see. be a strategy, right? Like that, that, that's, just, that's just, we have pistols, let's just spread around the map. Like that's not a call, that's just hoping to find kills and hoping that their individuals can get something done. So uh, looking a little bit scattered here, but one more on the half and you'll be happy if you are G2. How much would you ascribe that to just be also not wanting to try and be too rigid against the loosey-goosey stand-in NIP? Yeah, look, on the pistols, it's one of those, those times where you, you can get away with it more often than you could with rifles than you have, but even the rifle rounds have seemed a little bit odd. But look at this. Fozzy with a new position here. He should be good for this AWP shot straight. Oh, oh his teammate! Mug! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no, no, no! no. That should be the site. Yeah, and I don't really know how Hampus is supposed to do anything about this. Well, they have to. It's the last round. He better find a way okay. through. Uh, the doctor, can you... Oh! Jesus! Never mind. Open brain surgery handed to, from Nico to Hampus. And yeah, this one, I'm afraid, is as done as they come. A very quick resolution to the final round of play. And a bit of an oopsie there from Rez. Didn't quite catch the timing right. Obscured the view of their standing Orpa with his thigh. Oh, you better they go, come. boys. And there they go. One more to be added to the naughty list, and we've got an 8-7. Seven. seven on the T half, considering how that started. G2 have recovered. The Samurai looking to take one final slice, or will it be the Shuriken sailing to that grand final? We'll find out after the break.
Hey future pros! Today I wanted to show you an old strat that fanatics still like to bring out from time to time. This execute is an alternative method to take the B side on Inferno, utilizing a wall of smokes. As with any great dish, I mean executes, when you have the base locked down you can start adding in other ingredients, I mean grenades. To make this recipe you will need 3 future pros, 3 smoke grenades and some flashes. Future pro number 1. You'll be throwing the close smoke for the wall. The base of the oh, pyramid no. hunt. That was all 12 bullets. A full 12 goes awry, and now they're hunting him down. Can he justify it? He's at least pulled something out of that. A distraction. His team's strike, and well, with Fozy and Rez already known and low, there's not much for them to do here. Nightmare fuel for Hunter if they, they didn't find other frags yeah, there. That's a miserable position to find yourself in. We know it's hard to shoot with the pistol in the back, but it felt like he should have been good for at least one in that scenario. Stationary target, couldn't hit the dome. And well, here comes the half wall flash. Dominic's safe and sure. Trade. Oh, now he's dead. It gets awkward for Nico. Stands his ground. Can he hold his nerve? Two quick kills on the USP to give G2 that leg up into our final half. Okay, well, they've got the pistol. Now it's just about getting the conversion here. And NIP, they weren't able to do it in their first half. They literally lost to one deagle kill of Nico and Hampus getting a little bit overzealous on the mid-peak. So this is where battening down the hatches is an essential key to success right now for G2. He already had a banger pistol highlight already. Nico has crosshair placement unlike anyone else. Right, well, deep mid molly, it's three through second mid. This is basically a full eco here from NIP. They haven't forced on in, and oh, I think uh, Amanek knew he was there. The pre-fire onto Hampus, the kill comes through. Banana control secured. Yeah, it's very intimidating when you see that one running at you. Now, Rez has a flash. That is the highlight of the round right now for NIP. Two P250s, a flashbang, and two Glocks. So I'm going to set the bar at them. They'll be happy with a kill. Just one. I reckon they would be ecstatic with a plant. Yeah, but that that ain't happening. Hey, all right, Chad. Well, I'm just trying to build I'll upon your story. I'll bet Cassard's watch that ain't happening. Uh, oh, okay. I didn't know it was yours to give, but he already put it on G2, not making the finals, didn't he? Oh. Oh, Cassard might want to be checking the time for the last time if he's not careful. Oh, there you go. Another four kills from Hunter. He's had a couple of those. The Eco Bash is everybody's favorite, but now the AKs will be coming out on the other side of things. Now, the question is, with these bonus guns, the MP9s, do they want to do something a little bit different? We have been seeing some different Counter-Strike this tournament, so wouldn't surprise me. But that's Hunter just uh, picking up a pistol on the way out of the door, guys. He's inspecting his knife. It's a bit of a beautiful one. What skins do you guys have at, no, at home? Let us know. Little you tilt straight out the gate there. You can see them throw in that one for top banana control. So that's just a bit front of that half wall. Yeah, I think uh, they're expecting something quite fast here. And that is a fair expectation when you consider the way NIP approach a lot of their T-side rounds on dust too. Nice alternative though. I guess you can smoke it from so fast, tuck in and re-smoke it from coffins with a retake. You tilt, you've already bought the first 25 seconds off of the clock with control. Yeah, it's a bit deeper, that second one, and the molly is well clearing out half wall, so... That's three CT smokes burned. Well, there will be a lot of time for NIP to stretch their legs if Ow. they can keep their bodies alive. Nico, through the smoke, has taken down one of the stars of the show. Amanek has a uh, coffins flash lined up here, so when Nico calls, he can release that. And Nico can swing on out. There it is. Nobody home. Light on you till now, just a... Molly and a flash remaining between Nico and Jax. Oh, and there goes the Molly, so make it just a flash and the impending doom of the BXQ is coming. The smokes are in their hands. The flashes are ready to rain through the sky and the rotation miles away. Yeah, the writing's on the wall for this one. Hampus has met Amanek and it's just a shutout. One by one into Nico's crosshair. He mows them down and we are set for 10. NIP down to the 3K mark as well. You can see the concentration stations firmly still in the G2 camp. They know that this is, this is their half. It's their map to lose. NIP, an impressive feat taking that nuke pick. Never mind surprising us with it, but converting it in overtime. And have since just been chasing that dragon. 
<laughs> they made Dust 2 exciting. They did. They made G2 fans hold their breath. We're all expecting that curse to continue, but not to be. And well, now firmly in the driver's seat of this one. Out of their heads now, I think it looks like they're back to regular scheduled programming. It is great when you can have uh, Nico on 19 and Hunter on 18. This is almost the same recipe as we just had over there on uh, Dust 2. So the Cousins getting things done. And we learned a lot in that interview as well. You know, just uh, Hunter's talking about the dialogue he had with Nico, and he was just like, Do whatever you're doing, you're playing now. Focus on playing. You're playing with me, and you can, once you play with me, we'll win some things. I even asked him questions to try and make it more about himself, and it, it always came back yeah. to the family line. I was like, all right. Well, that, that's fine by me. Certainly not a narrative we're forcing upon them. Well, they've been able to get top mid control, so that's a bonus. But on the jiggle here, Kenny with his one kill. Will spot an awful lot. Defensive Molly. And they've slipped the net through oh. the mid to B. So library a problem. Yeah, that's your responsibility as well, Kenny. And he's got it locked. Hamper's dead. Hunter as well. Gonna get himself a quick 1200 to the bank account. Love there we go, Kenny. Love Kenny with some confidence boosters. And I mean, it's worth highlighting. It wasn't that quick in reality, but also it's worth highlighting that, you know, regardless of his first half scoreline, if G2 need to call upon a good CT orping presence, it's not like Kenny hasn't got the Inferno route ingrained into his skull. Like he is going to be able to do the fullback orping, deliver when tested on that AWP, just yet to see him equip it. Yeah, and I don't know if they'll have to anytime soon, right? So the AK upgrades are nice. Hunter's still rocking that MP9. So uh, this is four on the trot. I want to have a quick look at how many guns they've lost in these rounds. So in three consecutive rounds, no one's died. And in the pistol, only two players died. So uh, that tells you just how good things are going over there for G2. And maybe that's why Threat has opted to take a timeout now. Just discuss the next gun round approach, round number 20. Do we have anything different? to add going into this one right here because the fact that these bonus guns are still in the hands is a worrying sign. The bank is built well and truly over there for G2 for at least a buy or two more. Hampers throwing out utility to seem more threatening than they actually are. This is just to keep the feet planted over towards A and maybe allow NIP to have a clearer and cleaner passage up top mid. No boiler control, no holes control just yet and they're going to flash through the smoke here. So this is looking a bit pacey. Yeah, the app's double boost is a... Uh... Rarity, but not going to be activated today. Instead, they're just going to start actually creeping for S attack's position. He better be ready. He's not at all. G2 on either end of the map from the extremities they have struck. Now two on that side of the map. Rez can isolate with Plopsky here. A good flash and a push. It's the perfect call. Kenny's ready to disrupt them, though. And off the flash, he does drop. Draws the crosshair. Jack's only the one. Has to be Kenny now. Plopsky's low and vulnerable. Has the teammate to count upon in Hunter, and he's found them. Rumbled them. Only Fozy. And one of the four. And there you go. 12 is secure. G2 starting to pick up momentum, Chad. Starting to look a little indomitable. Uh, I'm disappointed in Hunter. I would have liked him to hold on to the MP9 for as long as he could here within their second half, but he's upgraded to an AK, so you can understand why. But this is great. Every decision that they're making here right now, G2 is looking perfect. And another, well, half by coming out of the Swedes here. If swatted away, we'll see us surge to 13, extend the lead to five rounds. Hunter fancies a fight. I love these flash peaks mid, right? It, it means you can delay on your smokes a little bit. Now, pressure applied. They will drop one defensively. The issue is, for NIP, they might have to go through this. Yeah, no, Hunter was cooking up a nade, but he's thought better of it. Would rather be on the right side of that smoke. Now it's thrown. Well, they have the top mid control and a couple of key bits of utility left in the hands of Rez. If he could molly pit, that eliminates one key position. Kenny could go forward. Once that molly subsides. Yeah, but it's the orb. You don't want to be feeding that one into the beast. He stands his ground and mows one down. Hunter partners up with him. The threat neutralized. As easy as that. And the dig to be tested. He's going to be run down from every angle. Hunter makes it 22. How uh, in sync are him and Nico still? Has he just edged their head now? Just by three. All right. But uh, in six rounds of play, we've had four kills in total from NIP. So... You guys do the maths. That's not great. Less than a kill around. Even I can do that. And so can Threat. If you call the timeout, guys, 
We're not killing them. We're not killing them. We need to kill them. That is the name of the game. If you kill them, we might win. Well, let's see if the five headshot strategy has anything to go off here. Yeesh, Hunter. He's on his own. Yeah, completely. But Plopsky <laughs> this is, is dead. wild, man. This is a let loose G2 and thriving in that environment for only a moment. Rez wants more on B. Forces out the utility, and I think that was the last. No, Amanek has one more remaining. There may be a couple idle on the floor. Might be able to just keep refreshing that if A starts being locked down. And actually Searching really here, all right. Fosi is uh, over towards the chicken pit T stairs right now with his own AWP, but expecting a swing this late. He looks prepared for it. The problem is that's bad info for Kenny. The fact that he saw nothing mid is actually getting him a move on back over towards the B site. So it is just on Jax here. Oh, yeah, that is a very heavy rotation out of Kenny. I think there'll be utility, right? They won't go out mid dry, so Jax should get a warning. There's a flash. Kenny, uh, I know you've just arrived. Come on, Jax, if you push for this info, this could be the round. Might have been spotted. Rosie's very, very apprehensive about that angle. Now, flashing up long, that will confirm their suspicions. The orb's ready. <gasps> He's missed his shot, and Jax has done the opposite. So much damage. A pin now, back into Amanek. They yeah, have to go. Just back and forth. A bully circle pushing them around. Rez trying to fight his way out, and he has. Swing of the backpack. Knocks out Amanek, and a one-on-one -on -one established. A battle of wits now between Kenny and Rez. Trying to piece it together. Kenny's going to clear up top mid. Rez already on the site. 14 seconds. If he waits too long, should have time now for the default plan. Rez, concerned about library side. No longer vulnerable to the short walk. Here comes Kenny. Oh, Kenny thinks he slipped pit. He slipped pit, and that is not the answer. That is the result. Rez has saved the boys of the ninjas in pajamas, and he says play on. Okay, well, a nice round to win right there. He, he knew where Kenny was coming from, right? Because as all of that tussle was going down in a three-on-three, three, Kenny lobbed a molly through the CT arch to try and dissuade them from wrapping. So you knew where he was, right? You see the CT arch where he was library. That decision-making that he had right there, he was gambling the fact that he was going to pick over towards long late. But Kenny gave telegraph utility there, right? And he was using what he had in his back pocket. But they do let one slip here. And, well, NIP are back in with a buy. The AWP retained. Fozzy will get another go with that. Fast down banana. Rez oh, is ahead of what? this. Who needs vision when you've got headshots? Rez looking to add some more to his tally, but he's very low now. Might have to let someone else step up. A nice nade for even more contributions. Nico operating at a disadvantage. Yeah, they lose this one. Not the end of the world, but they lose the next. Things will start to spiral out of control for G2. There's that top banana utility being lobbed on out. Alexi taught us well. Uh, there's no information for G2 to operate with right now. Uh, top mid, given up. Banana control, given up. That retake utility has a timer on it, and they could have also disrespected it. So you're gambling the fact that they are sitting on back, and luckily enough, they are right now. Hampus is trying to put all these jigsaw pieces in the right place, make a beautiful picture. They are really gambling that it will be... Oh, that's double investment of your smoke snip. They're trying to sell it with smokes alone. I mean, it's fair play to Kenny not asking for backup. He's looking the wrong way. Well, that's the side open. Oh, call yeah. them back. Call the team back. Or how does going for the mid to B? He's going for the mid to B right now. They're not looking. They're not looking what? his way. They have to. They're, con they're concerned about it. But Hampus is just going to shoot another in the back of the head and another one. They don't even know. Hunter staring into nothingness as this round disintegrates. 4G2, Nico, what have you got? The 1v5 with 19 HP is just an impossible order. And 15 bullets in the mag. Hampus. Felt like he had an invisibility cloak or something there. Yeah, I'm, I'm not quite sure. The fact that he didn't call the team back after the Kenny kill either. Nico not long for this world. He goes on down and double digits found. NIP have made this a much more competitive series than I thought was possible, considering all of the scenarios going on in that camp right now. The s -attack communication problem. Fozzy coming in for device not feeling well. Those two things alone should have meant that G2 have a leg up. But remember, they do have a stand-in as well. And that stand-in is Kenny not having the best of games. Now, the second half, he has been able to find himself six kills. So he is contributing more here on the defense. But a timeout taken on the CT side and the first in this third. Losing that round, not the end of the world. There's still money to buy in this round, but they lose this round. 
then you really have some problems. You, you have some big problems because NIP are going to be able to catch up to at least a one round differential here. Assuming no guns are saved, we always want to put that little asterisk in there for everybody at home. I know you guys are keeping count. Yeah, keeping count of that uh, kill discrepancy as well. Hunter, Nico, 20 apiece, 23 for Hunter. Jackson, and Kenny yet to break 20 combined. Can the NIP individuals keep their head above water more so? Oh, wow, this is aggressive. Is there a flash or is he just going to wait for the walk through the deep smoke? Oh, cool with a pin. A dink exchanged. But Jack's still prominent in the feed. He's ready for the next task as well. And the task at hand was He's cut down side. Plopsky. He's still defending the site. The Frenchman with all the style outside of the server brings it to the server. Oh, another one. As the bomb goes down, he's forced him off the bomb. And Essatag, oh, he's pushed into Kenny. Forces an aggressive fight. It's unfavorable. Now makes it 3v3. Burn to a crisp. Good util out of Amanek. A three versus two retake. Rez, that Molotov could be brilliant once you get a firm picture of the idea. You keep Jacks busy. Good molly. Perfect. That sound cue. So one library, one apps, they know. Oh, this is fantastic from Rez. If he gets... Oh. oh. Baits them at least. They're looking the wrong way for his first headshot. And Rez combines with Fozy. NIP really are knocking on G2's door now. Nico trying to save the day last minute. He just doesn't have the time for this. He's definitely got the aim and the brain runs down another. Finished by Fozy, keeps the AWP and they are really now breathing down the back of G2's neck. That was such an important round right there. The finances, they're not completely broken for G2, but there's a few players in question. Jax and Kenny don't have enough to buy. Amanek could maybe drop one, but this is the thing. It, it looks so good. Jax got two kills on his own. Hunter goes down, gets caught off by timing. Jax stays alive with two big frags, right? He has a key piece of real estate in apartments under his but even Rez flubs the movement right there, and they still get away. Oh, the frustration, almost a boiling point now. I, I think the expectation was this wasn't going to be a hard series. Oh, 100%. But the individuals are just keeping it up. Rez a prime example. He's had his rounds, and wow, Nico's trying to do everything on his own. Oh, I this is starting to look like Nuke again, where it got real desperate. And, and they did invest here. Yeah, he's thrown himself to the wolves there. I think the uh, the cliche of superstar players trying to do it all when the pressure's at its highest. He's ran into the crosshairs and a 4v5 is established in pursuit of 12 the ninjas. What looked like a dud T side is now bearing its teeth and they are vicious incisors coming in hot here up mid. Hampus. Oh, versus Hunter again. He's full blind. The flashbang dance party. Amanek is having a party as he sprays down two and a half. Oh. It could have been more. Oh, and Kenny, oh. He's, he's not finding any impact with his AWP here. He, he's going to do his best to save, but I can't believe they invested there. I, I, I thought that maybe they'd go for a partial, you know, a, a couple of upgrades here. But when you see Nico on a deagle just throwing himself into banana... And now Kenny with the seven kills to his name having a save. This G2 thing, it's its not just a meme, is it? Yeah, rooted in reality, we discussed for the VP boys, right? You know, the paid by the round in yeah. terms of got strong mentor. I think a lot of our memes are rooted in truth, so you have to remember that. And this one, unfortunately, yeah, is again an example. G2 are starting to buckle. I can't believe there's a round in this on map number three. Like, nobody, uh, you you ask anybody, this this is not the way this should have gone, but look, NIP, they're getting it done here. And if we take a look at the scores on the doors, it's feeling like a pretty good team effort. Hampus, yeah, the conversation is who's the best Swedish player at the moment. A lot of people are saying Hampus. He has 19 kills, 17 for Esatag, 16 for Rez, 12 for Fuzi. And Plopski, 10 to his name and Hamanek <laughs> here, just in the mess of it all. That was when, like, four people were flashed at the same time. Yeah. And they were all holding W. It was... Great, <laughs> didn't it? Four in a row. Four in a row. Okay. And I mean, don't forget the Hampus kind of invisibility round where uh, they threw... That's right. Arch smoke, library smoke, and he just walked up to a back-turned orb. Yeah, managed to get so much space out of all that.
Plopsky has a little bit of a tech issue here, guys. Hopefully we can get this one sorted for you as soon as possible. This is where the mental will really be tested for both of these teams, right? They need to be able to take a couple of deep breaths. Just relax things down. We are at the tail end right now of map number three. I'm sure Vitality are waiting in the wings, loving every minute of this, seeing all the Counter-Strike that's getting played from these boys. Nice spectrum of maps as well. And you heard, uh, I think it was Jason saying, you know, who would they prefer? I think Trace posed the question of who they prefer in the final, and you'd, you'd prefer the easier route of an NIP, right? That on paper, because G2 have already beaten Vitality in this tournament. And, uh, well, maybe they will get that wish. But you can see... <laughs> yeah, that's a stressed man right there. And how do you... You know, I mean, Chad, you're not saying you have the answers. I don't think everyone, anyone really truly has the answer unless they're been focused on self-development or an old man. <laughs> but, you know, how have you found success in getting out of that mental? You know, when you've, you, you've been in a pit, you've had a bad map, you still have to call an energetic second map. You know, uh, was there anything that worked for you? Uh, look, for Did us... Did you manage to was, shake it off? And, no, not, not really. I was really bad at the mental. When you got locked in, you were just locked in. Yeah, and I think the thing is... The tools are uh, lacking a little bit right now for Nico to call around because a lot of the stuff he has to call around himself. He has to call around himself and Hunter because those two are the ones who have been leading the charge. Amanek, to be fair to him, has been having a decent contribution. So uh, I, I wouldn't feel comfortable right now sending Kenny out to find you a successful opener. But that's the opposite of what you want. You want to be like, Kenny, we need you to bring us a miracle right now. We need you to bring us an opener. And you, and you want him to be able to go for that. But he's just having a, a bit of a stinker of a game right now. So uh, if he goes in and dies, and then that's it. Now, now, this round that we're going to go into would probably be the best to try that because it is just a partial investment around the AWP. So the, it, right now could be that Kenny moment, right? That That would be one of your strengths that you could turn towards here to hopefully find you something. But then after that, it's really difficult. And it's not like Kenny S isn't someone that would re would respond positively to that. I know actually you, you raised an interesting point we discussed uh, during that uh, Gambit game where we were just talking about, you know, Orp is going for those aggressive picks. Is it on their own volition or is it something they're commanded to do? You, your suggestion was that it has to really come from them. And so, yeah, it's just a question of if Kenny's got the confidence to do that because he has to rock the boat. How many consecutive, Chad? Let's remind everyone as we head into 25. It's four on the trot from the ninjas in pajamas. And right now, Kenny does have a good spawn, right? It doesn't look like he's going to head towards mid, but he might head towards apartments to find a bit of an opening here. Just up to everybody else with the pistols. Oh, we're not live. We still have issues. Sorry, everybody. You've been baited. But uh, it's not a big issue. We're just uh, getting the match medic in. And... Uh, all right. Kenny Looks will like retain a, a similar spawn here, so that's looking all good. He should be able to go for this apartment's plate again. Uh, but the same kind of uh, scenario, right? They, If you have a saved AWP, you want to allow him to work. So a key right now, if he does go aggressive apartment, send a babysitter with him and then have everybody else just to block off the choke points of banana and mid while that AWP is searching for kills. It would be cool if they actually, I mean, obviously they can throw what they want, but they have a nice smoke for top mid from spawn. Now they haven't opted for it, so it will be an open avenue for them to get that fight regardless. Hunter, in fact, is going to be doing the flash and go. All right, they are up in apartments with the AWP, and it is just S-Attack, the man that they would be looking for. Now, he's actually quite passive here, so unless Kenny continues to search, I don't know if S-Attack is going to... Oh, I say, and he does. Oh, the full bang. He was right on the money there. Good he's going to get him one. Kenny, a must-have. Can he get away from the spray? Oh, he's Hunter, not even looking. He's got no ammo. Two on the Julies. NIP counting on Plopsky. Kenny, gone. Plopsky's got the sight. Oh, that was a big moment. And it looks like it could be the equalizer now. Plopsky has stepped up, delivered. He's partnered up with... Fozy. Well, they may as well give this a go. It is just the pistols invested here. Yeah. That one flash of Amanek. Amanek can jump up. He can grab himself a rifle. Nico's position now noted. They're both playing pit. Works into Amanek's favor, you'd think. Are they both coming short side? Nico can find an AK here as well. Yeah, but really light on time here, fellas. Really light. Smoke onto the site. Got the orb. Trying for the wall bang. It's a Hail Mary maneuver. G2 running in. Only Amanek needs it now. Gets it, but no time. time. Well, they've done some damage. It's a consolation prize with a recovered AWP. That's what you came in with. But it will go NIP's way. 
Oh, Hunter gets two massive kills with the Julies there. What's with the Julies getting bought more and more? I could not believe that. Because Hampers is spamming to deal with Kenny. Right, that one there. And look uh, at Hampers. He's, he's got no idea what just happened. Still holding the trigger down, trying to find the bullets through the boards. And then Plopski bails them out. This one onto Kenny here. The awareness from Plopski is massive. That is a round winning kill. Yeah, and you know, we saw how humble Kenny was kept. The fact that the S-Attack's pre-wall banging that puts him on notice, isolates Jax, and then his teammates try and run down Kenny S. Eventually, Plopski does. Oh, early half all smoke. Yeah, this is it. I'll let you set the scene. A lot of nades early. Oh, Hamanek is softened up. Hampus is actually playing in this smoke. Well, I'm going to get flash forward. Molly as well. Amanek under so much pressure. He's going to get caught off guard here. He just burns on down. Hampus is going in. Yeah, he's not going to stop. He's not going to let go of W. He does not relent. But Nico. There's more pressure. He's got more on his plate. Nice smoke. Plant some seeds of doubt. Plopsky spotted out. He is going to be Molotovved into the fight. Blinded as well. How has Everyone's he not flashed. gone down? Finally, Rez will find him. Still a three on three. This is chaos. This is chaos in the very best way. This is close. It's so much quicker. Kenny wasn't ready. Fortunately, Hunter is. And I don't even know what to make of this. A 2v2, a full 60 seconds. Fozzie's posted up for Hunter's war. Bombs committed. Oh, wow. That was a brave move. How are this going down? It was a very brave move from Fozzie. Safe plant. Jax to try and bring home a 14th, but NIP with every passing second edge closer and closer to the impossible. Is he really going to give this a crack here, Jax? The money is rough. It's max loss bonus. A few players have residual cash left over, but if Jax goes for this and loses everything, he's going for the molly deep. Well placed. Six T Fuzzy's rounds. He's burning. First, he's just burnt on down. Okay. So one on one. Halfway gone. Totally winnable. If S attack hasn't just wormed his way around, he's made a calculated maneuver and a flash to finish. NIP. 14 secured. Jax looking the wrong way. Flash no came time. from behind you. He'll work it out. But it's all too late. It's all too little. NIP the first to find 14. Bro. Take a timeout, G2. Take, take, a, take a definite timeout. Take them back to back. You, you've got three to use right now, and they have called one. Kenny has 7.7. .7. Amanek has 4.9. The rest just around that 4K mark. But this is chaos. Like, this is just hitting that accelerator in towards the B site. As soon as Amanek burnt down, they just kept thrusting forward, and it was so disjointed. It wasn't like there was easy trades. This is G2 falling apart in front of us here, and the fans at home, they, well... Probably not loving that. Yeah, probably quite the contrary to that. That wasn't celebrations. That was... Uh, Fury. Yells. Fury. And Hampus is bought in with a Mac 10 which based on his spawn, not great for a whole lot here. But with only one player surviving in the previous, you know what's starting to get rough in the finance department for both. So both teams with an SMG, both teams with rifles across the board, a kit on Nico, util there. G2, is this really going to happen? Vitality G2 rematch was discussed as if a certainty NIP forced a field to stand in. There's no one banana right now. This could just be a quick A hit and there's three players here. It's looking very A heavy right now from NIP with, without any banana presence early. It's just an execute and go. Yeah, it is. Okay, straight out the page of the strap book. Hunter and Nico though, partner up. Can they do the damage necessary? Jax, can you deliver when it matters most? Even trades. Nico's Not yet here. guaranteed. Nico flashed off. He's desperate for cover, but he's lost his head. And it could very well be the round. 15 looms smoked off. Kenny trying to be a hero. Immediately takes some space, but catches a nade on his face. The call has to be saved. It has to be saved. The only player who has any business hanging around right now is Amanek with the MP9 to look for an upgrade. And Kenny, he just has to scamper on back. The Swedes have done it. They've grabbed the 15th round with all of this going on. With all the drums, with all the woes. I, I'm so impressed by the level of play we've seen out of NIP today. Combine Nuke with the second half here. My oh my, G2 are going to be in the salt mines. Oh, that look on the face of Nico right there, I think it says it all. I mean, it's such familiar territory for them as well. Ah. <sighs> This kid right here on your screen, yeah. he, he, got, he got the call. Device not feeling well, mate. We need you to play. How do you fancy a semi-final tier one debut? Yeah, that seems like an easy way to uh, kick things off. Bit of an icebreaker, huh? Well, this is wild. And he's even entried onto the site here. Right, Jax only gets one. As soon as Nico's stranded in the open right there, that's such a drama for him because you can see just how 
Oh, those flashes were a nuisance. And oh, here we go. The buy, the final buy. They've allowed Kenny to keep the AWP. Two MP9s. Amanek is no slouch on that MP9. Him and Nico to be tested now, up close and personal. They're faffing around with a boost. Hampus, what are you doing? Leaps through the smoke and takes down Nico. He has to watch now. Head in hands, eyes partially closed as this 4v4 transpires. Round 29. Map 3, Rez in a standoff all across the map. For goes Banana for now, but new intentions set. And oh, they could be isolating Kenny here. He does have the partner in Jackson Pit. No utility dropped. They could just straight up go. We saw it work once. Lurk smoke dropped. What's the reaction? Counter smoke. Kenny puts his name in the feed. Need another out of him. They're coming in and Kenny racking them up too. Need a third and no scope for style points. It's not safe yet. S attack to fall and Kenny's the one to send them. A quad kill at their most dire moment and they will get another go. Oof. A wise man once said better late than never and he's rocked up. Pressure on. And Kenny's kept him in it by the skin of their teeth. And now shoe on the other foot here. The buy for NIP is going to be rough around the edges. They can't. I mean, it would be the maximum confirmation of the G2 curse if they start getting run over by Mac 10s at the start of this round. Round 30, ladies and gentlemen. Will it be OT? Everything implies that with Kenny awoken, a 4K out of his AWP in the hardest round. Now, surely, the hard work is done. It's the only AK of S attack very forward in this mid smoke right here. Looks like they're popping and going. He is through. He has taken the space. Kenny has been pushed on back towards CT Arch. Jax and Hunter to lock down the site here, but the pressure is coming. Same U2 they've seen before. Kenny responsible for long. He will be given a frag. Oh, well, never mind. It's S attack. Drive by. Straight onto the AWPA. Jax got so much on his plate. Turns the flashes beautifully. Combined with Hunter. This could be a potent mix, and it is. Running out of players. Plopski delivers two. two from the MAC-10. Hampus and Plopski, they could finish it right here, right now. Amanek and Nico. Nico at least has his fate in his hands. Partnered up with a safe pair in Amanek. Smoke and flash him. I want to smoke pit side. Reveals himself. Making no secret of this. We'll be able to lurk his way and walk on into the blind spot of Hampus if he doesn't take this peek. Flash and go. Time-sensitive mission. There's only about 20 seconds left. NIP. A couple of oh! clicks and Hampus. Oh, and Hampus sends G2 home. Disbelief, I'm sure, spreads amongst the CS community as G2 Fall and falter in the semi-finals. What a debut as well for Fozy.